It seems that we live in a throwaway society, but hey, who's complaining? Yes, uh, a lot of people messaging on this YouTube channel, especially kids saying, what are the cheaper alternatives because they maybe cannot afford a guitar, they're saving up. Yes, if you go into a shop, a guitar shop, and buy everything brand new, you probably can't afford most things. But if you've keep been keeping abreast of what's been going on this channel, over the past, I would say, month or two, I've picked up some bargains and some stuff that's been given away. Uh, so always make sure that you keep your eyes open on stuff like Facebook Marketplace. It's been quite an interesting week. I've actually even gotten uh, an Apple Watch. Uh, my son, he doesn't use it anymore. He probably wanted a newer one. I got gifted, gifted an Apple Watch. If you've been taking notice of the channel, actually got a Zoom 4040. Well, these were like state of the art in the early 90s under 40 pound on ebay check the video out of that because it's got some brian may sounds on it war war flanger chorus distortion metal pedal all that kind of thing also notice that i bought uh i'm actually going to sell the, the zoom because it's a surplus to requirement after buying a vox tone lab with a built-in treble booster and Vox AC30 effect, it's obviously got your yeah, phaser, flanger, chorus, delay, uh, obviously reviewed this one, but again, these kind of things were going for about the 100, and I've seen them 130, 140 pound, got off on a 70 pound, so it's always worth keeping, keeping your eyes open. But it's been an interesting week, I had a friend, oh, I had a friend, I've got a friend, whose son is learning to play guitar, he was actually after half decent acoustic so he had saved up his 150 pound so one had 150 pound to spend on a on a, an acoustic guitar i said leave it with me i'll have a look i looked on facebook marketplace there was actually an epiphone acoustic and it was going for 50 pound so i messaged the lady said would you take 40 pound for it so he got sorted with a 40 pound epiphone guitar brand new being used a handful of times when my friend went to pick it up the lady said to be honest with you i was ready to donate it to the charity shop i was actually going to give it away so if you keep your eyes open there's always bargains to be had now interestingly the very next day i was helping a friend uh paul move house and uh been giving my vlogging stuff about and uh two guitars he said, "You may as well. You may as well have them because I don't want them. Do what, what you with what you want." So I got donated this Epiphone. Not a bad. I think these were about two hundred and about three hundred pound mount when they came out. And um, that one's up for that one's now up for sale. But it came with with the gig bag. Now, if you buy your second hand guitar. Always check the gig bag. Why? Because sometimes you find in them thirty pound leather strap, and also I don't think I've ever bought a guitar pick in my life because you always find them in guitar bags. You also had another guitar, a left hand. Now I'm not left-handed, but hand on with uh, got my hands on this left-handed. Tangle wood. Yeah, now I'm not going to use it, so that's obviously up for sale. If it doesn't damage it, it even came with <laughs> with the guitar stand. Oh, get on the camera shot. Even with the with the stand, <laughs> so I haven't even had to pay for one of them. So it has been an interesting week for guitars. When the, the very next day, went to my mom and dad's. My dad's a uh, big fan of acoustic guitars and he had some guitars that he said he didn't want anymore so i'm very thankful to him so i got my hands on this fg 230 12 string from the 1970s i reviewed that with how to string it like a brian may guitar and play love of my life and if if that's if it just keeps getting better all the time and uh, this is no word of a lie then I've got this Washburn, no Tanglewood even, 
Uh, I've just actually sold that one, uh, which I was quite happy with. Uh, I've just got far too many guitars in the house. I would love to keep them all, but but can't. I shouldn't really store it next to the window, but that's just because I've arranged things for the video. And it gets better. It gets <laughs> if you notice over the years, I got this given. Crossroads pedal. I reviewed that one. That cost guy um, Ian who kind of gave this one to me. Now he'd been, I think I'd get him started on looking on eBay for bargains, and he'd getting his hands on this for thirty pounds. They were normally one hundred and twenty. So when you look at things, sometimes people are probably giving things away. Uh, so I got that given. It even came with the um, the Digitech. Um, Bag. I kind of couldn't think of the name then. You may have noticed that I got grunge pedal as well. Like, can these things cost quite a lot of money? Got that for just under, I think it was just under thirty pound. I can't remember. Maybe forty, thirty. Brilliant pedal, but again, you're dealing with what would normally have been over a hundred pound. And keeping the best until last. Oh, and I forgot as well. Off a friend Paul. There was even a music stand. I mean, these things cost 20, 30 pound brand new. Yeah, not, never even used. And last but not least, the Zoom, the Zoom, <laughs> get the right way around, the Zoom 9002, which I reviewed, which has got the primary presets in. Got that given as well. Um, if you look on eBay, they always sell these as uh, spares are repaired because they're all broken. And uh, Ian, again, Buxton, Ian Buxton, got two of these, a pro one and this one, got them fixed. And says, here you go, you may as well have that because I've got the pro one. So, this isn't one of them videos which is kind of showing off. It's kind of, uh, if you keep looking out for stuff, you don't always have to pay a top dollar for everything. Just the other day, my local town, just over the road from where I live actually, there's uh, what you call a recycling village where they obviously recycle everything there's a shop there which takes all the stuff that shouldn't get thrown out because it's too good you get i think i saw a sony separate hi-fi going on there for 30 pound and one thing i missed out on and i was i was quite good at a michael shanker flying v and they were selling it for 20 pound and i just missed out on it because they advertise on facebook and somebody uh, picked it up just before me and missed it out within seconds so is any bargains you've got let me know in the comments let me know what you think and the main purpose of this video is that you don't always have to pay a top dollar we do live in a throwaway society so take full advantage of it